This is your Monix Metals Market Update with Mike Maroney. Good afternoon. My name is Mike Maroney and it is Monday, December 18th. I'm coming to you today from the Monex Precious Metals Studio. Let's do our week in preview. If you look at the metals, we currently sit just above resistance as both gold and silver have bounced off what many people believe could be a solid bottom. Gold traded all the way down to 1238 and silver hit an intraday low of 1558. Silver is now sitting just above that 1610-1611 resistance and gold is sitting just above that 1262 resistance. And the question is, have we put it in a bottom and are we getting ready to go higher? A lot of people are wondering right now, is the commodity market positioned to be one of the better investments for 2018? A lot of the top money managers have come out recently and just about all of them have gold and silver on their list as potential top investments for 2018. And let's look at some of the reasons why. If you go back and think about when the major super cycles, and that's a major bull leg in commodities have taken place, you have to go back to 1971 you have to go back to 2000, 2001, and a lot of people believe we're on the brink of another major super cycle here in 2017. Now, if you remember what happened back in 1971, Nixon closed the gold window, and for about eight or nine years, we had major inflation in the United States. And then inevitably, the Federal Reserve increased rates all the way up to 13, 13.5% and the commodity markets ended up selling off. Now in 1999, 2000, what we had is we had a lot of growth, especially in the emerging markets. What we had is economies in South America, such as Brazil, economies in Asia, such as China, economies over in Europe started to grow, and they needed the commodities to develop their infrastructure. So we had a major boom in demand, and we had inflation kick in, and what happened is we had another super cycle to the upside. But what's happened over the last six or seven years is we saw a rotation out of commodities near the highs in 2011, back into the stocks, and what we've seen is the commodity markets have all pulled back. Copper was all the way above $4. It pulled back into the $2.60, $2.70 range. Even the grains pulled way back. And if you look at oil, oil hit a high of 140. It pulled back down to 28. Now it's starting to move back to the upside. Gold, 1929. We recently hit a low of about 1060. Silver almost got to 50 and we've recently seen a low in the 14s, but it now looks like the commodity markets are about to make a turn. And they say the trend is your friend until the bend at the end, and we may be about to experience the bend at the end as far as this six-year corrective phase. If you look at commodities in relationship to where the S&P 500 is, based on a ratio, we're at historic low levels. We are looking at undervalued sectors that quite frankly may be one of the greatest plays over the next four to five years. And one of those sectors just so happens to be the precious metals markets. What we're looking at is we're looking at these emerging markets starting to grow once again. More and more people are coming online. So the demand for small electronic goods, the demand for solar farms and solar energy panels is starting to increase. And all of these things use a little bit of silver. So we could see huge growth as far as silver demand is concerned. And because of the massive printing of money that's taken place in Europe, in Japan, and the United States with all of these quantitative easing programs, this money looks like it's about ready to circulate and that could really give gold a boost as far as where it could be headed. So 
If you're looking at diversifying, if you're thinking about what you're going to do in 2018, don't think that Bitcoin is the only investment out there because quite frankly, I think that's more of a spin of the roulette wheel than an investment. What you want to be thinking about is how can I buy low and potentially sell high? And if we're about to begin another major super cycle in commodities in general, gold and silver will participate in a big way. I think both of these metals are undervalued. I think the PGMs are positioned well, but palladium's already up 47% this year. I think if you're looking at the PGMs, I would probably focus on platinum. But right now may be one of the better times to take a core position in metals. And what you should do is give us a call so we can talk to you about how metals could fit into your portfolio. Maybe delivery is the best thing for you, maybe storage, maybe even a little bit of speculation. But if we are about to enter into a super cycle in commodities, I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun to own these things when they really start to take off. And when you buy low and sell high, you know what that means, profit. Give us a call today. Thank you.